Hi fellow gear sluts, I'm Jeff Daking and I'm going to tell you about the new 500 modules. These have been out for about a year. This is our usual mic pre. It's uh, got all the usual features, phantom, 20 dB pad, phase, direct input, but it also has 0 to 200 high pass filter that's switchable. And this is really good for people who are doing home recording because in the days of big recording studios where you had big monitors and good isolation, and uh, you were probably recording the 30 IPS, which didn't go below 40 cycles, you were protected. Now, of course, you're at home, the UPS truck is going by, and your digital audio workstation will record to 10 cycles. So it's really easy to fill your mixes with low frequency crap that you can't hear, and you have no idea. And then you go to mix your record, and you got all this junk down there that you can't understand why everything is so cluttered. So here we have the 0 to 200 high pass filter. Very useful, especially for home recording. The next thing is a brand new product. This has been out for about six months. This is a new compressor, very similar to our old compressor, except that it does not use a FET because the FETs won't really work well in a 500 package because they're very temperature sensitive and you never know what your compressor is going to be next to. It might be next to a tube, which would drive the FET crazy. So we're doing this, it's, it's designed like a FET compressor, but it uses a VCA. It's relatively audio neutral. It doesn't have much of its own signature. It's very easy to use. The average guy can just put it in auto release, put these two pots at 12 o'clock, and really not worry about it. It has two ratios, about four to one, which is the compression, and 20 to one, or more than 20 to one, in the, compression, in the limiter mode. It has a fast and slow attack and a fast and auto release. It also has extremely good stereo linking. Very, very accurate stereo linking. And this will link across the entire bus of an API rack. If you could link six of these, if you wanted to, if you for some idiotic reason wanted to limit 5-1 or something like that. The next thing we have, and this is brand new, is just out this week, is the this is our usual four-band EQ the typical four-band EQ, which is based on the fireworks. And uh, it is uh, four bands, five frequencies in each band, plus an out in each band. We don't use center detents because they're never accurate. What we do is we put an actual out position in each band. It boosts and cuts more than 16 and a half dB in each band. It's uh, all discrete. Uh, these, these, by the way, have no output transformers. These are differential output. Which, interestingly enough, if you're not pushing a long line where you need that sort of uh, magnetic rejection, has much better low frequency response than the traditional transformers that we use. These are flat down to about 10 hertz. So that's the new stuff. And you, in one package, you get a complete stereo channel, two mic pre's, filters, compressor, four band EQ. And uh, you can pick that up and take it anywhere and know that you're going to get first class audio from beginning to end. And that's it. And don't forget, turn around, where's Ben? ATC is now coming out with a 30 inch woofer. You see the 30 inch woofer over there in the booth? Don't forget to call ATC and remind them that you're really interested in the monitor with the 30 inch woofer.